Hello, my name is Tracy Berry and I'm going to be your instructor for Office 2010 New Features. Um, as we go through and take a look at some of the features, a bit about myself, I have a background for past 20 years within the computer industry and I've worked with the Office Suite since there was an Office Suite, so all the versions of Office I've been working with, so it's very exciting to share with you some of the new exciting features and I look forward to working with you. Interface 2010 chapter is going to take a look at how we work with the new interface. We're also going to take a look at live preview and a new item called backstage view so that you can have new exciting ways to work with maneuvering, opening, and saving your files. Office interface allows you to utilize the ribbon. We also have live view, dialog box, and some other exciting features that will you allow you to quickly organize and customize the ribbon and office interface. The Excel ribbon. We're looking at the home tab on the Excel ribbon. And the Excel ribbon is made up of tabs and groups within the tab. If we take a look at the groups, such as font, alignment, several key shortcuts and features that are organized by alignment and font will then be generated and created within those. We also have the ability to have contextual ribbon tabs. These will appear as necessary, when necessary, and they also will be in the future and changing depending on what it is that we're looking at. We'll have galleries as well, and galleries will be a great help so that we can organize all of our styles, for example or any other built-in elements and catalogs of references that belong and exist within all of the various Office products. Cell Styles Gallery is an example of one of the galleries that would be available to you. This is broken out by titles and headings. We also have number formats and we'll have the ability as well to create new styles merge styles, change existing styles, and see samples such as these live previews of what they will look like as we begin to apply them. Galleries are the key place where all of these styles and several other types of interactions will be stored and used within Office 2010. Live preview is the capability to be able to work with something such as a cell style and the cells that are selected on the screen are then able to have a sample of what it would look like to use that style. And so if you point and hover over a style it will change and show us the live preview. Once we commit to a style and decide to work with it simply left mouse click and then it permanently applies that particular style to the cell area in this case that happened to have been selected. Live preview is also available for many other formatting options in many other regions within Office 2010. Another feature of the ribbon is the dialog box launcher. On the ribbon below each group when it's applicable we will see a dialog box launcher icon. When that is clicked the dialog box itself will be presented. Dialog boxes give us more features. In this scenario we have a set of number formats but if the number formats that were present aren't exactly what we need we have the full capabilities within Excel to go in in this case and change specifically the formats we're after for that specific number, the alignment, the font, border, fill, and cell protection. Many features on the Office ribbon will possess the dialog box launcher and it will open up more options regarding that specific group. Quick Access Toolbar is the ability to create your own shortcuts. If you want to add a commonly used command and you don't want to have to go to the group or the tab to find it, you can go ahead and right mouse click on a ribbon element and you may choose to add to the quick access toolbar. This is located in the upper left and you may customize this for all of your favorites 
everyday sort of common commands that you most frequently use to save you the time of going to the specific ribbon group to find all of your favorite features within your office products. Hidden commands can also happen. If there is something and we would like to hide a command or to show a command, certain commands can be hidden. Some commands cannot be completely deleted, although you can add your own new tabs, new groups, and customize the quick access, but you cannot get rid of the built-in features. However, hiding them is av available to you so that if there is a feature that you never use, you can go ahead and take that away from the space so that your ribbon is truly fully customized to be exactly what you need when you need it. And it's very easy to go ahead and add and take away, but remember, we can never delete because what is built in is built in and that must stay. However, we can choose to uh, decide if it's going to be visible or not on the ribbons, groups, and in the quick access bar. Most of the office products have a status bar. And down in that status bar, for example, in Excel, we have the ability to look at the specific views that are available. Not all the office products have multiple views, majority of them do, but when you have multiple views, you can switch between, for example, in Excel, a normal view, page layout view, page break view. And by having this access down in the status bar, as well, status bars are very helpful because they let us know oftentimes what page we're on, status of an equation and formulas in Excel, and many other features. So don't rule out the status bar. Always take a look at the bottom because you get some great statistics within the Office Suite as to what's happening currently within that document and within that particular function that you're working in. The status bar is a great way to see what's happening within your products. The status bar is where the zoom buttons and slide bar typically reside. The zoom level, by default in most products and documents, are going, is going to be set to 100%. However, at any given time we could quickly zoom out or in by clicking upon these icons. We also have the ability to manually adjust it and left mouse click hold down and move the slide bar. By moving the slider bar we are then zooming in or out a bit dynamically and not having to do it in several increments. And zooming is extremely helpful in all of the Office products as it is the main way that we can go in and quickly discern between the full layout when we zoom out or we can zoom in and see great detail and customize many of the projects that you'll be working on. Thank you.